Hey everybody, it's Chris from Tipton and Hearst, and today's happy, we all need a little happy, it's still raining outside. Man, have you seen where Dumas is like getting washed away? I know. It's not very good. Same yeah. in Oxford. Yeah, it's a lot. Mm. So anyway, we're going to have a little bit of happy, and we're going to actually make two different shades of pink bouquets today. The first one, we're going to make it in this really fun, this always reminds me of Hey Kool-Aid. Remember the Kool-Aid commercial? It That's does. <laughs> hey Kool-Aid. This is a glass pitcher. And then we're going to do another one of lighter shades in this fun little footed container here. So, do you notice anything? A big old belly. This, our aprons are in. So, we'll start getting those out pretty soon. They'll we're, go out it, tomorrow. Tonight or tomorrow. Yeah, they're a little small. But for small people, they'll be perfect. That just means go on a diet. Huh? Just go on a diet. You did not just go there, but I think she just did. So anyway, <laughs> the first one, I've been trying to be really nice today, and you're going to push me. Anyway, so Lusianthus stock, some Godesia. This always reminds me of uh, okra. Looks like a little okra pod there, but it's not. It's a flower. Then we're going to do a couple of anemones. I'm trying to do like a really wildflower look at this picture with anemones. Veronica. And I think this is a variety of Scabiosa, maybe? Flower, flower people out there? Let me know what that is. I forgot to ask Frida when it came down. No, that's Scabiosa right here. That's the Scabiosa. It almost looks like a little cornflower, but it's not. It's something from Holland. And then we've got some quick sand roses, some really pretty mauvey soft color. And then a couple of these gorgeous peonies that are fixing to pop open and be kind of wonderful when they do. So let's get started. So how is everybody out there today? Everyone seems like they're doing really good. We have lots of people from the Philippines, from California. So I'm going to tell Alabama. everybody, Christina's not feeling good today, so she's not feeling like... She's, her throat's really sore. Yes. So we're going to not have her talk very much unless she just has to shout out something that pops up. So anyway, so if she doesn't respond, it's because her throat's sore. So she told me I've got to talk more today than normal. Yes. Ugh. So anyway, so let's go ahead and make that collar that we normally do out of our green pit. And this will give us a structure to work from. So we're going to do our stock first. So we want to take that extra foliage off. Sorry, I'm a little frazzled. I just, at lunch, I had to run to the house and meet with Miss Dixie. She's helping me with my house. And we were trying to figure out what, what furniture pieces we need because we got to get them ordered. And you know me, I'm a little indecisive. So. Really? Imagine that. <laughs> well, what about this? What about that? So anyway. Okay, so we have some people asking about if they can still purchase an apron. They definitely can just purchase an apron. And actually, aren't they doing comment sale right now on this? No, no. After, after this video, after it's After the be video, posted. you can go on the Tipton and Hearst web Facebook, Facebook page, same place you are right now, and you can order your apron. It's not going to be like a comment sold that we have done in the past, right? During the presentation, we'll do it later. It'll be like a click and buy type. Click and buy, click and buy. So anyway, so here are the quick sand roses. These are kind of, kind of one of my favorites. That's kind of the colors. We're pretty. using them a lot recently. Yeah. Well, they're a really good blend between dark and lighter values of, of purple and mauve and blush. So it's a good blending rose. And these actually open really super fast. Like, I bet I could spin this one open. Yeah, when they open, they're really pretty. Huh? When they open, they're really pretty. They are really pretty. Ta-da! So there's that one. We've got a lot. We still have a lot of work left to do today. We do. We have we have a wedding tomorrow and a wedding. Is that other one a bridal portrait pickup? Is that an actual one? wedding or bridal portrait pickup? This Fagner? Uh huh. That's a portrait. Her wedding's okay. in July. Oh, okay. So let's go back and add a little bit more lavender to this one. Have the pre order aprons shipped out yet? 
just came in yesterday, so Miss Day has not gotten to that. But we're gonna, that's on the list. Yes. They're actually working right now, working on the comments sold stuff. Janae has packaged all of the aprons, but I just have to go home and put the labels on them. So. Oh my gosh. Them soon. So add a little bit of lavender to the whole thing. Let's spin that around for you. I this didn't. Godesia is so fun uh, when it pops open. I didn't really think about the picture being Kool Aid, but now that you said that, it it's a high Kool Aid picture. It looks exactly <laughs> like it. You know Kool Aid. Hey, Kool Aid. <laughs> There's anemones, too. Yep. So someone asked if this is for a wedding. you want to kind of tell them what we have wedding going on this weekend? Uh, this is not for wedding. This is actually for the front cooler because we are so short, well, not short, well, we're short staffed too, but we're so busy that we haven't had an opportunity to get everything, extra things made for the cooler because we're trying to get everyday orders out. So with that being said, I thought I could do the wedding, which I probably should be working on the wedding for tomorrow, but I'll do that when I finish here. And then that way we can get a couple pretty things made up for the cooler. Well, hopefully it's pretty when we finish, so. I'm sure it will be. Yeah. Everyone's saying they hope I feel better and I need to go crawl in bed. That y'all are very sweet. Tried to get her not to come in today, but. I didn't want to let the happy family down. Well. We had some other meetings we had. It'll still be here tomorrow, so. It ain't going anywhere. Trust well, me. I'm going to. Go to the doctor at four and I'm sure get something that will make me feel a lot better well, by we hope Friday. So. But thank you all very much. That's very sweet of you. Absolutely. Okay, so you want to tell them about the weddings this weekend, maybe? Oh, we've got a lot of them. <laughs> Where do you start? <laughs> we've got them on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. I think we don't have anything on Sunday this year today, uh, do we? Joke's on you. Yes, we do. Oh, we do? Well, we have Sunday. A party at PV. Oh. Um, I'm going to come in and take it, but... Does that require my presence? It does not. Well, then... You're off the hook. Off the hook. Good deal. Can you point out which one's Godesha? Godesha is this one. And actually, I bet I can get this one to open up. It almost looks like a poppy when it comes open. Oh, wow. It comes in all different, some different colors, a lot of shades of pink. But the funny thing, it always reminds me of okra, and the bud form looks like that. It does. Okay. So, I put one more here on that. And then we're going to go back and pepper in our spot in. Ooh, big adjective, pepper. Pepper okay, in our, uh huh. Peppered with floral accents. We're gonna go back and add our darker scabiosa, but we're gonna wing that way out because if you tuck it in deep, no one can see it. So on these darker flowers, especially wildflowers, you kind of want those to be way out so visually they don't get lost. Right. That's right. That's right. So they kind of bring the stock together too. Yeah, I was trying to blend all these different colors of aubergine together. Well, you always do a great job. Uh, eggplant. Miss Jeannie said she almost missed us. She said oh they're good. having VBS this week, and she is worn out. Oh goodness! I used to love vacation Bible school. Me too. I was always sad if we were out of town when BBS was going on at really? church. Mm. I can make a mean cross made out of popsicles, let me tell you. <laughs> I bet you can. <clears throat> so, almost done with this one. Everyone's saying that this is beautiful. Well, good. I'm going to tweak a few of these roses so they'll show up better and they don't look quite so wonky in here. 
wonky. Wonky. Right? They're a little wonky today. We're all a little wonky today. Anyway, there you go. There's the first one. And these pennies, honestly, will be this big when they open. Yes, they will. It's always better to use tight ones when you're designing. That way, you don't get bruised as much. Of course, I'm fixing it here in a second. Do one that's really larger. So on this one, we're going to do lighter color, lighter shades of pink. So this is called uh, Campanula, bell-shaped Campanula. So it's all, and you can tell when it grows, it it grows in variations of pink to white. It's not just all pink blooms. You're going to have a little very. It's one of the few flowers that does that. And then we'll have some pink hydrangea. So we need to go ahead and take all that foliage off as usual. Look how many laterals are on this one, though. I was going to say, that's big. Yeah, and plus it's got all these long laterals. So I've got to make sure I get up in there, take all that off. I promise you, it makes a difference. So there's that. I think you have nailed that into everyone's head. Uh, you'd be surprised at people that still don't. That still don't. And then, I'm not sure what this one is either. I think she just got a box of mixed wildflowers in. But tell me out there, let me know what that one is. It, I thought at first, when I first looked at it in the cooler, I thought it was a form of alien, but it's not. Because it doesn't stink. And then, oh, we had one long soldier over here. We need to add him over here so he can be with the rest of the party. Right. That's right. We don't want him to be by himself. And then we have these wonderful peonies. Oh. Aren't they gorgeous? There's that. Then we have a little bit of Veronica again in white. And then we have these super fun ranunculas, which are almost a bell shape. I'm not sure if super fun until I get, oh, that one's, that one's gone. We have those. All right, so let's get started on this one. I'm gonna just throw those leftovers in this one too. So we're gonna make once again our little grid of greenery. Fever few? Not fever few. Fever few is more in the chrysanthemum family. What about astronita? That sounds good. <laughs> I should have asked Frida what they were before I came out. I just. Is yeah, that we, blushing bride hydrangeas? Um, the only thing I ever heard called blushing bride is that um, type of protea, that one we use all the time mm -hmm. out of Australia or New Zealand. Maybe. I have never heard called that, but that sounds like that's a good name for it. So today it's going to be the blushing bride hydrangea. There we go. There you go. So let's put our hydrangeas in first. And that's going to give us a little bit of extra grounding and focal point. And once again, I'm only working in water. There's no foam in these. So so that way I, it's a little bit more free form. We the, have a birthday today too. Who's I just birthday? Remembered. Miss Gigi's birthday is today. Is it? I thought it was yesterday. Are you sure it's today? Miss Joyce was yesterday. Miss Gigi, well, Ms. Gigi went on a gad about the, yesterday and went to this wonderful place called Table Something in Birmingham. Huh that had all kinds of china and stuff. She posted on B BTS, uh -huh. and so it's like she had a day out. Hmm. But anyway, pretty well, she stuff. might celebrate more than one day like me. She might have birth month. But now they had all the same stuff we have. I was looking at all their inventory of products. So anyway, so let's go back and add this. So when I work with Campanula, I'll go back and take that off. Then I'll regroup these to go off to the side like that. Kind of wild, kind of airy, but that's kind of fun. Those are fun though. We don't yeah, work with those a lot, do huh? we? Do you work with those a lot? When they're available, you know, they're kind of a mid-summer or early summer flower. They're not as readily available. 
and if they are, they're not as pretty as this during this time of the year. You know what I'm saying? This time of the year is their peak, so to me. Now a couple of Veronica. These are super tight. They're gonna have to show a lot more colors. They bloom out. And then we're gonna add that last. We're gonna add those last. So now let's go in and put our gorgeous peonies in. Can you remind Miss Jeannie what BTS stands for? Beautiful tabletop settings. Beautiful table settings. Table table. It's not tabletop. It's table okay. settings. Yeah. But it's all about tabletop. Mm -hmm. That's right. These smell really good today too. Can you smell them? I didn't smell them. They smell so good. So now let's go back and layer our ranunculus back on top so they'll show up. Ooh, winner, winner, chicken dinner. We got three there for the price of one. Miss Frida's doing you right. Huh, she is. I think these come from Sun Valley, maybe? I believe they're Sun Valley ranunculus. little run spot there off. Miss Carolyn, Miss Carolyn said this is her first time watching us live. Oh my goodness. Welcome, welcome. Well, welcome to the party. So last but not least, we'll go back and add our filler on top of this. And we always, when you're doing fillers, I like to add them in last that way they look more airy and showy and not, you know, not tucked in deep as far as because that's what they're supposed to look like. In nature, these are going to be the tallest things, the most airy part of the, out in the field. So we want to keep that same vibe there. And a few more of that. I'm going to go back and add a couple pieces of the leftover uh, Veronica. Miss Kay said one day we should have Miss Frida as a guest. Well, we've had Miss Frida on before, but we can bring her back for sure. She only comes for short periods. She yeah. doesn't spend the whole time. Yeah. Then I have to trick her. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> we have to trick her. A few people ask, is it really me behind the camera today? It is me behind it the camera. It really is behind It's just, she's not feeling well, guys. So, as soon as we get done with this, I'm going to send her on to the doctor. Oh, someone said it's not me. Uh, Are we going to yeah, be Friday it, from our party? Huh? Are we going to do the happy from the party on Friday? We might. The rehearsal dinner? Mm hmm We could. I think that'd be fun. We're probably going to have to because we're probably going to be working. I think we will. We got a bad, not a bad day, but a busy day, so right? Busy so, schedule. Anyway, here's another one. Just a very free-form garden-esque, big word there, uh, design that we, if you're from the south, this is kind of what we do all the time, right? From out of our yard so, and our garden. So there we go. So we've got a light pink one, and we've got a darker value with a lot of averaging color. So just picked up that old Hey Kool-Aid picture and filled it with flowers. So anyway, hopefully y'all had a little bit of fun, a little bit of happy today. Do what? Okay, with the apron? Mm -hmm. Just remind them. Remind we're fixing to have your wait. It should be on after we post this. Minutes. It'll post on there. If you don't have an apron, we have about, I think, 70 left. Um, 42. 42? Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. You bought 300, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Anyway, so anyway, if you want one of these, you can, in about five minutes, you're going to do a comment, sold, click, and save. So how you do that is if you've already signed up on comment sold, you don't have to put information. If you've never done comment sold, Tipton and Hearst, go into comments and punch in, reg type in register. At that point, it's going to take you back into where you can buy and it'll, uh, you just take your information. Then you can go back and punch in and you'll say sold. I'm sure it's sold 100. Sold space 100. Is that right? 
And I think how she's going to click it, you can just click on the link and go straight to the store. And you can add it to your cart. Oh, okay. I don't know if you have to do this old 100 on this one. Okay. I don't, I don't well, know. Well, if you have any problem, you always can give us a call at 1-800-666-333. Three. Three. You can always call us and we'll get it figured out before you get you one of these happy aprons. So we will see you next Friday. Not sure we may be on location. You know, that's always a hot mess when we do that. But anyway. We'll wing it. Huh? We'll we wing, wing it. it. All right. Y'all have a good one. Those out in the rain and the storms, we hope it go, passes over quick because we're kind of getting washed away here in Arkansas. Anyway, we'll see you soon. Thanks for being with us. Bye.